In this video, we provide the solution to question number 11 for practice exam number one for math 1050. We're given the graph of some function f, and we're supposed to ident identify on what intervals is f increasing. Uh, and so how do we identify where it's increasing? Well, when you read a graph, you always read it left to right. Uh, we always start from the smallest number in its domain, and we move towards the largest number in the domain. We always read graphs left to right. Now, in that direction, if you're reading it left to right, increasing indicates that the y coordinate is increasing. Decreasing would mean that the y coordinate is getting smaller. So as we go from left to right, where are we increasing? Well, if we start over here at x equals negative 6, that's the x coordinate there, you're at y equals 0. As we progress forward towards uh, x equals negative 4 right here, we'll notice that the y values are actually getting smaller. So that's not increasing, that's decreasing. So we won't include that. Um, then as we go from negative four to negative two right here, we'll notice the function's getting bigger. That is the y coordinate's getting bigger. So that's definitely part of it. Um, after negative two, that was just an x-intercept. It continues to increase uh, coming up here to x equals zero, like so. And so this portion's in green. Uh, this would be part of where it's increasing. It's increasing. So what we see here, it's increasing from negative four to zero. Now we're gonna put parentheses on it because the function was not increasing at negative four because on one side it was going down, on the other side it was going up type of thing. That's actually what we call a local minimum. Um, it's, not, it's neither increasing nor decreasing at a minimum. Same thing as the maximum at x equals zero. You'll notice that when we hit x equals zero though, the function starts to decrease again. The y coordinates are getting smaller until we hit x equals two. At x equals 2, it then switches, a sharp corner, mind you, but it switches. Uh, and then it starts going up again until we reach x equals 3 right here. So we're going to throw that into our interval here. It was increasing from 2 to 3, like so. And then you'll notice that for the rest of the graph, as we go from 3 to 6 over here, x equals 6, uh, the function was in fact decreasing again. So we're not gonna, we're not gonna worry about that one. So it was decreasing from negative six to negative four, from zero to two and from three to six. We don't want those. We want where it was increasing. So that happened from negative four to zero and from two to three, and it was increasing nowhere else. And so we look for that response amongst the choices and we see that's exactly choice F. So the function was increasing on uh, those intervals right there. And I should always, I should point out here that when you're working on these questions of where is the function increasing, where is the function decreasing, where is the function concave up, where is it concave down, we're always referencing the x coordinates, not the y coordinates. On which x address will we be going up? That's what's asked, that's what's being asked here. And so the domain, the intervals in the domain that make the function go up is negative four to zero and two to three.